Sometimes it's necessary to convert a video from one file format to another or just to make the file size smaller. You can do this with a free program called Handbrake. Go to handbrake.fr forward slash downloads and select the download that you require for your computer. Once you have installed Handbrake, you will see an icon. When you load the program, you will get a screen that looks similar to this. I have a file format over here that's in an MOV file and it's currently 67 megabytes. To do this, we can either use the file open here for individual files, or as this is a, in this case, I can just drag the file into the screen and it will load our file. Now there's a few options that we have across the top, but we're going to look at these presets here. When we click on the presets, we have some general presets in here. Now, when you're converting your file, you may need to have a look at the file size that was originally recorded. So looking at these files here, we can see this is a full HD file. When you are converting files, check your file sizes of your original video because you don't want to try and make the video larger than it needs to be. So I know that I can select any file up to 1080p. In the Generals tab, we have a list of presets that are already created. These super high quality ones will take a very long time to convert, but will give you a very good quality picture and a very small file size. As you get further down, these very fast ones will create the file very quickly, but the file size will be slightly larger and it may not look quite as good quality. In the web settings, there's a handful of presets for various web applications, including Vimeo and YouTube. Under devices, there are a list of predefined presets for different devices. I am going to go up to the top and I'm actually going to select this 1080p fast. I know my video is 1080p, so I'm just going to select 1080p fast and that will put our preset in here. There are a few other options that we have. We have the file format and there's a handful of formats in here that we use. I'm going to use the MP4 file format. In the dimensions, you can manually change the dimensions and also, if need be, you can crop out part of the video by using the custom button and adjusting the pixels from here. Under video, we have this slider here that we can slide up or down that will reduce the quality. We can also adjust the audio quality in here. We can change the audio file formats and we can change the bitrate quality as well. I'm going to leave everything as default here. The other thing that we are going to look at is down here, we're going to change the file path of our video. So I'm going to go to Browse, and I'm going to put ours onto the desktop just to make this easy to find. You can also change the file name in here as well. You can change this .m4v if you want to to m P4. And once I've done that, across the top, I'm going to select the Start Encoding button. The encoding time will depend on the specifications of the computer that you are using. It will tell you once it's finished converting in this bottom corner. Our video is almost completed. Our queue of our video has finished. And on my desktop, I now have another icon with the same name. And from here, we can now see that the MOV file has changed to an MP4 file, and it's now only 52.6 megabytes big.